everybody this is Willow Dawn from Whispering uh, Rose Handmade Soap Shop and um, the last video I made I said that we would go ahead and try and uh, do a magnolia that I do out of my incredible soapy clay. Um, first let me get to some questions that I've had um, in the last uh, week. I've had um, a lot of people ask me about incredible soapy clay and whether or not you can use um, the soapy clay in a mold or whether you can, um, you know, um, whether it will dry like a hard soap. And both questions um, are yes. Um, for a silicone push mold, this is um, one of Rose's. Um, I, I recommend you, you just go ahead and you can take a little piece of the incredible soapy clay and roll a ball, try to get it as a, uh, smooth as you want, and just push it in. Uh, let me try that again. You just push it in. And then you're, you're going to want to take off the excess all the way around that mold. And I recommend putting it um, in the freezer for a few minutes because it'll be easier to get out. But you can still pop it out, but it won't have as much detail as if you would keep it in the freezer for a few minutes also helps to take a paintbrush and you can just dampen it in there a little bit that way your soapy clay can um, slide out I always recommend using uh, distilled water push it in there and it'll pop out Ugh. sometimes it gets too soft if you need it a lot. Push it in. And then it comes out a lot easier. And then you just go ahead and um, just take a, a knife and trim around it. you'll have your rose mold or whatever mold you're going to uh, use but but really the best way to do it is is um, get it in your mold push it in your mold and then pop it in the freezer um, this is a soap so when it dries it's going to bubble up just like a soap uh, what other question was it that I had um, whether it needs a preservative. Only if you are going to store your soapy clay for any long length of time and I recommend Optifin Plus because it is phthalate and uh, paraben free. Um, I don't deal with chemicals in my soap products unless I need to. Okay, so now um, let's get on with our magnolia. This is a picture of a magnolia. Let's see if my hubby can get us zoomed in. And if you notice, it's got three petals. You've got the center. You've got three petals on the inside another three kind of like in between those two petals and these two petals and another one in between those and then you're going to have three so it's three three and three but it is where you're going to put those petals also notice you have a little tiny um, tip at the top of that petal now you can do two things you can hand wing it or you can use round cutters and use your hands to um, 
form the petals like I do. Um, or uh, you can buy magnolia cutters um, on eBay. They do have them. Um, they're not they're not that too expensive. I have made just last night. I've made some more soapy clay, and it's best that you make it the day before you're going to use it, so that it can sit and um, I guess settle down. So we're going to start off with just taking a small amount out of the out of it and just make sure that you keep your soapy clay covered in in plastic or um, a baggie a plastic bag while you're working um, it doesn't dry real fast but you you just don't want it to get hard because then it gets difficult to to work with this is really easy to work with now see it's it's kind of soft um, make yourself a small ball and we're working on the center right now and for this project you're going to need a small pair of scissors a scalpel and a small knife and um, if you're going to color it later I'll show you how to do that you're going to need um, some brushes um, and 91 percent alcohol okay so down here in the south we have uh, magnolias running wild and um, they're all different colors. Some are just yellow with a little bit of uh, purple in them and some have pink. But to, uh, today I'm going to show you what we have grown wild down here. The picture I showed you is just of a, a pure white one. Now you're going to make a ball but that center you're going to want to bring it up and make a, a little cone on the top. You don't want it too pointy because you're going to be cutting on this. Use distilled water to smooth out your soapy clay at all times. You don't want to use tap water. <coughs> make sure your hands are clean and sanitized. Okay. All right, we have a, a cone here. Now, what I do is I'll take a very thin X-Acto knife or a very thin paring knife. Just make sure that the blade is really thin. And then you start it at the bottom and you're going to work on making this uh, center bud part. Um, helps to um, wet your knife a bit and it doesn't have to be perfect I mean everything handmade is not perfect and work on making your lines on that bud on the bottom But get quiet is because I can't talk and think at the same time, I think. Yeah. And um, the reason why I chose the round cutters is because they're so easily accessible to just about anybody. I mean, if you don't have any round cutters, um, if you have a shot glass, a juice glass, and a regular size glass, you can use those as uh, your round cutters too. And just keep going back and make sure that those lines are are defined. Okay, they're going to get a little mushed as you move them around, but that's okay. Smooth it a little bit. Now, <clears throat> the top with the scissors, you're going to take and cut. little points start at the bottom 
work your way up. You can do this with gum paste too. I, I do cakes and um, this is actually where I learned how to do these flowers from was from watching gum paste videos as well. So if you don't like mine, you can always go look at those. When you cut the next row, you're going to cut in between the two points you just cut. Now the next row, again, between the two points, and you're just going to work your way up. Wet your, uh, wet your little scissors if you have to, because it makes it cut a lot easier. <coughs> now the top, I just cut. and then I wave them out okay that's your center of course you're going to color that at the end I'm not going to make a huge magnolia today, but um, I am going to um, make it big enough where you guys can see it. Most of my magnolias are full size that I, I um, give as gifts most of the time. Um, they fill a, a, a fairly large basket. Now, when you're working with the soapy clay, you really should have some damp fingers. Um, it, it's so much easier to glide right through this. Um, with your damp fingers and it stops the soapy clay from sticking. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm flattening out a piece here and we're going to do the first petal and we need to do um, we need to do three for the center petals and then there's three rows, so this is fairly a quick flower to make. Okay, so for the center, I'm going to use these three sizes for this flower. And I'm going to use the, the smooth side of the uh, cutters. So um, just flatten it because you're going to spread it out with your fingers. Put your fingers a little bit and smooth it. Or you can get a small rolling pin and, and um, roll it out. But if you're going to roll it out, wet your bottom uh, area so that it doesn't stick. So I'm going to do three petals. And I usually just take them off like that. That's one. And I didn't cut out all my petals this time like I did the last uh, rose video. But I just wanted to show you guys that there's so much you can do with this. You can make your own handmade um, soap embeds on top. You can even roll this in a soap that you're going to um, pour and put it in the middle of your soap and then pour the, the your CP soap over top of it. So you can even make um, a log that looks like a, a strawberry or a flower and roll it in there and set it down inside. And we're going to just go ahead and cut out the third. Okay, we're back. Um, had to unload the SD card in my camera. 
Um, I went ahead and I cut out all of the ones that we are going to need for this uh, magnolia. And remember um, the last time I told you there's three, three, and then three. It's just all in how you um, place the leaves or the petals. So here's our center. And these center ones, um, you'll just kind of like pull them out a little bit so that they kind of bend like this all the way around. Now, magnolia leaf, and, and I wet my finger just a little bit now, and I'm going to pull it and pull it, and I'm going to try and do a tip. Just a slight tip. It's it's not a really pointy one. And then I'm going to just spread out my soapy clay. Smooth it. Smooth the edges a little bit. Now Magnolia doesn't have a really ruffled uh, petal, so you're just going to bring it down like this. Wet that bottom area a little bit, and then on this one, on the center, just, just wet, the, wet that area some. Place the petal there, and kind of smooth it in. Now this is a little tough to do, to get it to uh, stay for you. And you can bend the petal up some. And what I do is I just do the bottom, I smooth it in so that it sticks. And then I smooth that part in and leave that out, leave that, you know, a little damp. Just smooth it in some. Every flower you make is going to be different. It's, they're not all going to be the same because they're hand done. So just, um, play with this clay a little bit and, and get the feel of it. Okay, now I'll do the next one. And I'm going to bend that top up into a little point again. And I want to thin out the petals just by wetting my hand and pulling it and spreading, smoothing and spreading. And then you can even just take your finger and just run it across the edge. And see, it's not it's not too thin, but it's not too thick either. You don't want them so thin that, you know, they're just going to break once they're dry. <clears throat> These make really um, nice gifts in a basket for a loved one. Now, you can make these as big as you want or as small as you want. If you've got a loaf of soap and you want to do a magnolia theme, um, with the magnolia scents that um, is out there, um, you can make them really, really tiny for each slice that you're going to do. Okay, now I'm going to bring the bottom down of that leaf. Still got this just a little thick, so I want to, I want to go ahead and thin it some. You can bend them, bend the, bend the petals just a tad bit on the edges out this way. If you have any questions about um, making the soapy clay when you know when you get the recipe you can easily find me on Facebook or you can just um, message me here on YouTube and I'll do my best to to answer as you know any questions I can or give you any more tips on what to do this particular soapy clay was made out of a tallow soap. The rose was a vegan soap. So um, you can do it with uh, cold process or hot process soaps only. Um, none, of the, none of the ingredients are um, hard to find. They're all readily available. And if you're a soap maker, you definitely have no problem. Um, Second one, just take the petal, put it directly across the other petal, 
and I got that one just a little bit too big but if you can see I can adjust the size of it and bring it up now those of you that have seen my um, magnolias uh, those are huge basket sized magnolias and um, I'm not doing that big of one right here so I'm just going to show you with a small sized one what you can do but you can do them any size my book on the incredible soapy clay and it is a book it's a PDF download it's available on my Etsy shop and I will put my description uh, links in the description um, and it's also available on selfie um, I had to take it off of um, the Kindle download and I'm very sorry for that um, I know there's some people that are pretty um, disappointed but I had a UK buyer download it on their Kindle and then return it which um, you know right there they've got the recipe and they've, they've literally ripped me off but that's okay um, you know uh, it's no longer on there so you'll have to get it through Etsy or Selfie and it's with PayPal This um, recipe is also not just made with um, brand new soap, you guys. This is made. This is made from soap that I've already made, and it's been cured. Um, this particular soap was made from my uh, Titanic um, reproduction soap, and it just smells really good. Um, doesn't have the scent of a magnolia okay and then you'll put the third petal right there okay so you got three petals right there like that blend it in um, at this point you really don't have to worry about the bottom part um, you can smooth it out but you don't really see it. Okay, so now we'll go to the next size and again the same the same thing. And you're going to spread out and thin it with your fingers. Use your distilled water and uh, smooth. <clears throat> Um, there's really nothing you, you can't make with this when it comes to your soaping. Um, if you want to get original, you can make fish, you can make birds, you can make flowers, you can make butterflies. Um, and then two, if you get cockeyed like that, just trim it off. Keep a uniform petal. And I want it pointed just a little bit again. Now the second row you really want to kind of cup it into your hand like this. And then smooth it. Smooth your edges. And I'm doing this quick. I usually don't do these quick. Because I don't want this video to be too long and boring for you guys. <clears throat> I really appreciate everybody who has subscribed and has uh, purchased my book. It's taken months and months to perfect this um, recipe. Okay, so now we have the three petals there. And we're going to start on this second row. So you want to bring it... 
like that. And my petals aren't very smooth because, like I said, um, this is quick. And I'm just trying to make it as easy for you as possible. And not so long and boring. I'm going to try and get um, a video out each week featuring a different flower or some item um, using soapy clay. This is not made for, I'm sorry, but I've not even tried it with uh, melt and pour. So this is not made uh, with melt and, melt and pour. This is, this is made specifically with hot process or cold process, natural handmade soaps. And you know, the kids love this stuff because they can, um, you know, design their own soap monsters and take them in the tub with them. So you're going to put this one over here between these two petals. Smooth it off on the bottom. As long as you keep your soapy clay in a plastic bag or airtight container, it's going to remain soft. If it gets cold and hard, just stick it in the microwave for about 10 seconds and it'll soften up enough for you to knead it back again. Okay, the next petal is going to go right here between these two. get slick there. See it pulls, stretches, so it makes it, um, it's really fun to work with. You just really have to, the texture is really smooth. When you make this um, soapy clay using my recipe, you must make sure that all of your soap is melted or else you're going to end up with little um, pieces of soap and you don't want that in your clay. Well, you can put it in there. I mean, you can leave it in there. It'll just give your project a little bit of character or a rustic look. Okay. I didn't cut that enough. Magnolias come in pink and, like I said, white. Um, white with a little purple in it. They even come in purple. Um, a lot of our wild magnolias are just white. They're just gorgeous. Okay, we're back and during the break of um, uploading the video because my SD card is so sh short, it's really small, but um, I went ahead and I added three more petals and right now I am going to smooth 
the back of it out. All right, now I want to add a little green to the back, and I'm just using this um, cookie cutter to um, hold my petal, uh, flower, my magnolia. So I take the the green soap, soapy clay, and I'm going to roll it into a ball. Sweat it a little bit and kind of flatten it out as round as you can. This is um, this is going to the back of the flower. This is the area that you're going to attach the leaves to too. Um, I usually put two or three on mine, <clears throat> and I'll show you how to make that. When you're attaching. You don't want to push on this. You just want to let it lay on your hand and then work the green on there. Okay. I've got it worked on. I'm going to smooth it out with a little bit of water. And then just drop it down in there so that you can work on a leaf. And if you see it cracking, you just wet it a little bit because that means you've got it too dry. And it'll wet back and go right back together. <clears throat> Roll it into a, a long, oblong shape because if you look at the leaves and the shape of these leaves on the magnolia, they're kind of long, thin, and the edges bend under. So what we're going to do, and I'll move that out the way, work it into a long snake and then work it out with your hands or you can even cut it um, I'll probably just cut it probably need a little bit more uh, soapy clay wet your surface You can work it out like that, and you can even cut it. And they're kind of round and long. And like I said earlier, this stuff is great with kids. If you have little ones, and we have six grandchildren, um, th they really like to play with Play-Doh and stuff. Um, but this, they can make their own little monsters and characters and then let it dry and use it as soap in the tub. And I promise you, you won't have trouble with anybody wanting to take a bath or, or shower with their own little monsters. Okay. So now you want to lift it up. And this is on silicone. This is just a silicone mat. Or you can just use some freezer paper. Lift it up, and then you can work it. I don't know why it's been so hot here in Florida. Kind of depends on your humidity in your house too, how fast this stuff dries. We have a room dehumidifier that I use, but you definitely don't want it to, uh, you definitely don't want it to stay in a really damp area. It's not going to dry.
now I flip my edges under, just like a real magnolia leaf. A real magnolia leaf is um, kind of thick leathery and it's very shiny. So flip it under and then take your X-Acto knife. And this has got a little bit of white on it. You got a little white on it. Doesn't matter. It's going on the back. And you're just going to attach it like this. So now I just attach it to the back. Blend it in. I got a house full of crazies, you guys. Right now. So if you hear anybody in the background, those are my kids and my grandkids playing. Okay, and um, that's it. Put your gum in your mouth, silly. <laughs> These are my precious grandchildren, Brianna and Zachary. How old are you, Zach? Nine. And Bri? Eight. And they are my first two grandchildren. And we have a total of six grandchildren. And, we, and it's three boys and three girls. And these two are cousins. And you guys like Nana Soapy Clay, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it makes bath time fun. Uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I take showers. Yeah, and showers too. Yeah, that's good. So what? Are, what, are, what is Nana making? What is that? A magnolia? Yeah. So yeah. we're just gonna put another leaf right there, right? Can I help? Mm -hmm. Sure. You wanna go ahead and put your? Did you wash your hands? Uh, you gotta wash your hands. Where, where uh, is the towel? Right there. Right here? Right there. Okay. So, now that we've got this done, I'm going to go ahead, like I said, I went ahead and Nana, Nana smoothed it. But you guys can help me smooth this a little bit. Put your finger in the in the water just a little bit and smooth this real easy. It's a lot of fun, huh? It's almost like Play-Doh or clay, huh? I yeah. do clay and art. You do clay and art, that's mm -hmm. right. Does it feel like clay to you? Mm-hmm. It does. Yeah, like we put get a sponge and then we get it wet. Right. Okay, I think that's enough water on that one. Okay, so now Nana's going to paint. I want to help. Okay, how about you guys play with the soapy day clay here? I want to yeah. paint. i got to paint these and show the people how we do it. Can I paint too? You guys go ahead and play with that. I did paint. Okay, so what I'm going to do on painting is, is I've got on YouTube? Mm -hmm. oh. and I've got this one. You a little bit pink? of green mica and I've I just mixed it up now. with some 91% uh, <laughs> rubbing alcohol 91% rubbing alcohol and if you look at the picture there's a little bit of green right around the top part and a little bit of yellow. But I'm going to add, just dab it with a little bit of uh, the mica. Is this hard? I know. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's clean too. Yeah. Okay, that's one color and then another color I'm going to get the yellow and we're going to add that to the center. You just need a few squirts of alcohol. 
Smell good? And put Paul Greggs behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to dab it with some yellow. That's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it is pretty. Yeah, my hands. <laughs> want to taste? <laughs> Alright, no, I don't want to taste it. It's soap. But you can smell it. You can smell it. It smells I good, smell don't it? Smell. I can't smell my nose starting. <laughs> you guys are going to have to remember they're eight and nine. Okay, so now I want to take a little bit of purple. Yeah, I'm going to be weak. Hey, a sign says Nanny Kitchen. Where memories are made, grandkids are spoiled. That's right. That's what that sign says is Nana's Kitchen. Oh, open for two, two, 24 hours. That's right. Up 24 hours a day. I'm hungry. I know. I'm fixing to get dinner. After you do your Yep. And then you're just going to want to... Hey, is this going to go on private or... Nope. Like real? Like YouTube? real YouTube stuff. Oh. So that when we look back at Nana's soapy clay. Oh, you got too much water. I <laughs> Add some more of that clay. <laughs> That's what happens when you put too much water, guys. Oh, did you use this clay for that flower? Nope. It looks like the same. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, for that one. Okay, and just... Spray it down with some alcohol and it helps it dry. And I got the bigger one. You can also can I have a drink? No. These two in No. Dab that. I got, got it first. Shh. <laughs> and dab that. I know that's alcohol guys. Yep. It's Shasha, right? Yeah, Shasha. <laughs> okay. All right, thanks for joining me, and next time we're going to do a sweet pea. <laughs> and Zachary's going to get in the tub in a minute here with all this soap on. And Brianna's going to get down a sweet pea that I did. Okay. And there's your gorgeous soapy clay magnolia. And next time, I'll teach you how to make a, a sweet pea, any size that you choose. <laughs> Bye. Ah. Forgot to mention, if you like this video, comment down below and su subscribe and, and share. And share. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>